Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man and it's time for the promised lather test of the three soaps I made using one with 100% lard, one with 100% schmaltz or chicken fat, and the lava soap with volcanic ash and 100% coconut oil. Couple things before I get started. I've been out of the picture for a little while and I may be out for just a little while longer. I haven't made soap in a while other than these three over here. And I'm sorry, and I really kind of missed it because it's a hobby I really and truly enjoy. It just still amazes me today, even though it's a centuries-old technique, that you can take bacon grease and drain opener and make soap. And if you mix it right, make a pretty decent bar of soap. And if you mix other different types of oils, you can make a really good bar of soap. just blows my mind. So I enjoy doing that, and I've kind of missed it. Maybe out of the picture just a little while longer. I'll show you up here on my drying rack. What I have. So I have four weeks ready. Now you can see that is my drying rack. It's really the top of a, a hang, a clothes rack in the basement in the soap lab. I have enough exactly for four weeks of soap, which is what I have. Um, three, let's see, two Saturdays ago, um, the event was canceled because they had something else going on. Uh, last week we had family in from Portland, Oregon. Needless to say, they don't make it to West Virginia often, and I don't make it to Portland, Oregon very often, so didn't go last week. This coming Saturday, uh, we have friends in. A bunch of us, a group of us met in college in the late 80s. Been friends all this time, but we're dispersed all over the place, and we're getting together this weekend. I may possibly go ahead and take, that's the next one ready, may possibly just go ahead and run that one down, leave it out, and see if somebody will give it out for me. I, may, I just very well may do that. Or I may take it to church and just give it out, put it out and say take it so I can make some more. But bottom line is, uh, I haven't made soap in a while because the events have not been there, and I'm not going to this weekend. Okay, let's get down here to the main reason. Now one more thing. Let me get you make sure you're in line with the sink. First of all, relax. My page always has been, always will be family friendly. I'm fully dressed. I am going to do a lather test. I'm fully dressed, not showing any skin. I shouldn't be showing, so relax. Um, two of these are with animal fat. I generally don't use animal fat in my soap. I do occasionally put tallow in my bars, occasionally. Most of the time I use 100% vegetable fat uh, in my soaps, but uh, and I realize that some of you watchers are vegetarian or vegan, and, and I totally get it, totally respect that. My daughter is a vegetarian. She's an almost vegan. She does occasionally eat dairy. She's almost vegan. Um, so I totally respect that you're vegetarian completely, 100%. I just hope you respect the fact that uh, I eat meat. So does the rest of my family. And sometimes you get a lot of fat drippings. And I use this to wash my dishes because, first of all, it amazes me. See, we're still recording. It amazes me that I can take animal fat and mix it with drain opener and make a darn good soap and then wash my dishes with it. That way, that animal fat doesn't go to waste, doesn't go in the landfill, and I just get to do a hobby I enjoy. So, here we go. First one is going to be the chicken fat. This is made with 100% chicken fat. Took a lot of baking chicken to get enough to do this, but I did, and that chicken fat's not going to waste. Now, chicken fat is a pretty soft fat. This has been, I made this Tuesday a week ago, so it's been nine days. This is a relatively hard bar soap. Actually, it's pretty darn hard. Not quite as hard as the lard. I don't think I'd put chicken fat in regular soap. I really don't think I would, but this of all the animal fats I've used, this probably gives the best lather. Um, not half bad. Now what I would do with this, chop it in half, shave it down, melt it in water, and use half of this to wash a big, big sink full of dishes. Here we go, lather test. Okay, chicken fat is not bad for your lather. Especially when you mix it up like that. Now it starts out a little bit creamy and then it gets a nice lather. You get a little bit of water on it and look at those bubbles. That is 100% chicken fat. Nice bubbles. Really nice. Okay. See, especially the more you rub, just look at all that lather. Now, 
Now, the, the chicken fat that I used was baked chicken, and it had uh, rosemary and garlic herbs on top. It smelled pretty daggone good, I have to admit, but it smelled like the baked chicken that we had. Um, it has pretty much lost that scent now. About a week later, it still smelled like that, smelling pretty darn good, but that, that chicken smell has left, and it's pretty much just unscented soap now. Next is the lard. There's no, doesn't smell like bacon anymore. It did for a while. Now, lard is probably the least bubbly soap. If you want to use an animal fat, it's probably the least bubbly. Um, tallow is known for giving a creamy lather, but uh, it will actually produce a bubbly lather eventually. But I've noticed that animal fat produces a very, very, very stable lather, especially tallow. So here is 100% lard, and yes, it is starting out a little bit creamy, but got a lot of bubbles. Look at that. Rub it. Okay. I wouldn't use these in the shower probably, especially since it's 100% soap. It wouldn't hurt you, but it would be really drying. I'm going to put some oil on my hands when I'm done because they're going to be really dry, but look at that. 100% lard. Bacon grease and drain opener made that. Look at that. And we know generally you want to wait four to six weeks before you use your cold processed soap. These are okay to use because they're fully saponified. There's no more saponification going on. Um, and they don't have, since I'm going to dissolve them, shave them down and dissolve them in water, they don't have to be super hard and super dry. They'll actually be better if they're not super hard and super dry because it won't take as long to melt them down. Now, here is the promised lava soap. Um, just before I did this production, I took a shower with this one. 100% coconut oil with a 15% super fat, although generally you want to do 20. This is just for hands. Just out of curiosity, I took it to the shower, and as I figured, it was pretty rough. Uh, this would be good for like elbows and knees and feet, you know, your really, really rough areas. It was a bit rough in the shower, but I also used more pumice or volcanic ash than was recommended since I know it's supposed to be just for hands anyway. Of course, we know that soaking, uh, coconut oil soaps and lathers like crazy, which I did get. But this is going to be great for my son, the welder, coming home with filthy hands. Because, I mean, look at that. We know what 100% coconut oil soap does. And even though it really is rough with all that volcanic ash, it's fine on your hands. It feels actually kind of good on your hands. Just lathers like crazy with minimal effort. Now you know the, the animal fat soaks, I had to rub a good bit to get this kind of lather. This I just barely got it going. So there we have it. Lather test with chicken fat, 100% coconut oil lava soap, and lard soap. Now, one more thing before I go. I've mentioned it, I mention almost every video. When I make soap, I don't thoroughly scrape out my pots and utensils. You've heard me say it a hundred times. You'll hear it again. See it. I just put all those, let them saponify a couple of days, put them in a big bucket of soapy water, and I take that all that soap and that super soapy water and I use it to clean the three bath, the three commodes specifically in my house. I just pour this water in. There it is. That's enough for three. That was the residual from all of these. Okay, so I'll, I'll just pour about a third of that in each commode, add some bleach to it to sanitize it, and give my commode a sanitizing bubble bath. So even that soap doesn't go to waste. So it may be a little while before I make a regular bar of soap to give out, but I wanted to let you know I'm still here. And I will see you later, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.